Bucks have clinched home court advantage in the first round of the playoffs. The biggest turnaround in franchise history. Randall step back three, puts it up. John, oh! It's good! It's good! Randall gets the bounce! Randall drives, gets inside, falling away. Got it! From three, R.J. Barrett hits back up by three. Here comes Barrett. One man to beat, it's Beal. Down inside, he's fouled. Showing up all year long. Oh, deflected and stolen by Noel. Reggie Bullock with the steal. Daniels blocked by Noel. That's Pitchy's Rose there, dancing, prancing off the bounce. The postseason is a whole different level of basketball. It's what you live for as a player to play in the NBA playoffs. New York, we here. And we here for the Knicks playoff preview show presented by the FanDuel Sportsbook. Sunday, the Knicks beat Boston to clinch the four seed and cap an improbable regular season. The Knicks have the home court advantage against Atlanta. And word today that new rules could allow up to 13,000 fans at the Garden for the beginning of the series over the weekend. Man, it is so great to be here from our Delta MSU studios. Bill Pito along with Wally Zerbiak here. And over there, we have Monica McNutt and Alan Hahn. And everybody, we know it's a big deal because Hahn is finally out of the basement. <laughs> Not just me. Monica's in the studio I'm as here. well. I'm here. And by the way, Monica, doesn't Bill need to say we hear it? With, say it with your chest. Yeah, that, you didn't give me Julius Randle on that we one. We Sorry. <laughs> we here, New York. That's right. That's much better. <laughs> you like the playoffs. I love it. I Let's didn't hit go. that. I meant to hit that. Perfect. All right, we're just perfect. gearing up. Uh, we have the preview show, and we have coverage throughout the first round and hopefully beyond. Here's what it looks like. NBA playoffs begin May 22nd. That's over the weekend. We will have full coverage for every first round game we carry. Post game shows on MSG for all national broadcasts. Every post game show is going to be an hour long, and you can go to msgnetworks.com for a schedule info. All right, Wally, the first word is yours. Overall, big picture. How do you see the series? Well, I think it's a really good matchup. Julius Randle's had a lot of success against the Atlanta Hawks, averaging 37 points, 12 boards, 58% shooting, and 50% from three. So the Hawks are really going to zero in on him. But, like I said earlier, in la this is the NBA playoffs. What the Knicks have done in the regular season, it's great. All right? They got themselves to this point. This is where you have to elevate your game. You have to play harder than you played in every single game during the regular season if you want to advance in the playoffs. It's a completely different ball game, a completely different level. Once you get to this point, the Knicks are going to have to raise their game if they want to beat the Hawks. Of course, Allen and Monica, during the regular season, the Knicks won all three games against these Hawks. What you have, though, guys, is main players on both teams yep. making their playoff debut. Mm -hmm. New experience for both of these teams. And also, as you typically get with a 4-5, very evenly matched. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, uh, Wally talked about Julius Randle in particular, but when I think about this one, defensively for the Knicks, the task is that Trey Young, Clint Capella, lob, pick and roll situation. Mm -hmm. That's going to be, to defend that, uh, we're going to talk defense, obviously, guys, right? Because you have Tom Thibodeau and the Knicks defense. That was the best in the league. And one of the things that they will they had a hard time against in the last meeting with Atlanta was stopping that pick and roll with Trey Young and Clint Capella. So we got to see what they come up with this week. 